This video is going to show you how to set up scanned email on a Toshiba multi-function device and import email addresses into the address book. Uh, the first thing you need to do is open up the web browser and type in the IP address of your Toshiba multi-function device and then log in. The default login is admin and one, two, three, four, five, six. So once you're logged in, you have the administrator tab, so click on it. And the first thing you need to do is go to the email link. And inside of here, there's a few settings you can change here, but the two required uh, settings for email would be a from address and a from name. So just fill those in accordingly. And after you do that, go ahead and hit save. Uh, click on network. And then SMTP client. And once you're in the SMTP client, uh, I have this, this set up for Gmail. So I have the SMTP Gmail server in here. Gmail does require that you have uh, encryption running and then also you need a login username and password for a Gmail account of course to send through the Gmail server. Uh, if you're just using a exchange server you would just put in the SMTP server address uh, or name right in this field here and you probably wouldn't need um, SSL or a username and password if you have an exchange server on your own network. Then you would click OK, and then you would click Save and OK. And now your machine, your Toshiba multifunction, is set up to scan to email. Uh, to get addresses, email addresses, into the address book, you would click Registration, and then click the address book link. And then here you could click Add Address and just type in the first name. You could type in the last name. Um, just gonna put in address here, Gmail, and click Save. And then you have an address, you could type them in that way. If you have a lot of addresses you want to import into the address book, then you need to go to Administration. I'll go to Maintenance. And I always, I would export the address book first. So click on the export so you can see how the columns are lined up in your CSV file. Uh, I've already created one here, but normally you would need to create a new one. So click on this button and then you would get this link. So then you can click on this link. And um, then I would open up this address book. And you can see how the columns are lined up here. So you could just start typing in the columns and then save this address book here. And uh, uh, then once you close it out and save it, it'll ask you where you want to save it. So you can pick any place, of course, on your computer to save it. I've already done this before, so it says I have one. This is just telling me I might lose some of the features in my workbook because it's just a CSV file, but we want it in that format, so we click Yes. Once we have all the addresses in our CSV file, then we're going to go uh, into Import. And then here's our address book import, so we're going to choose the file uh, that we just made. So we click on that, open it, and now we can choose addition or overwrite. Uh, I'm just going to overwrite, so I'm going to import it. It's going to import. And then um, once I import it, then of course they're going to be under, they're going to be in my address book here. And I overwrote it, and I actually, this is a different file than what I just made. So it's a different date. 
So it didn't put both of the email addresses in there because I just had mine in the other file. So um, that's the, uh, the explanation of how to go ahead and set up email and then also populate the email address book. Hope this was informative and thank you for viewing.